wow, what a film uh, and what a family. How did you uh, first made contact with Alfa and the daughters? It was in 2016. I heard uh, an interview on the radio. She, her, I mean, the story of her daughter uh, was the main story in the media at, at this time. Uh, so um, I was fascinated by the character <laughs> uh, with all her contradiction and uh, the way she was telling the story. So I contacted the, the journalist and he gave me her number and I, I called her. And what was her reaction? She thought I was a journalist and she was fed up by journalists because uh, in the you know, social media she was attacked and uh, she's kind of a monster. Her daughters are monsters and all the Tunisians were like angry against her so she was like um, I don't want to do uh, interview anymore because um, I'm, I'm talking about my case, but nobody is uh, understanding or trying to not judge me. Um, so I told her that's what I want to do, you know, in, I'm, I'm doing cinema not to judge people, but to understand them. And then when I got the idea to bring actresses, I want to understand and to understand I have to dig in the past and to dig in the past we have to uh, make the past a life. So I was thinking about reenactment, but I hate documentary with reenactment. And I told myself, it is not only the, the you know, reenactment of those traumatic memories that interest me, but also the questions about the why and how things happened. So I know that actors uh, are very good in uh, asking questions. Acting is reacting, so they, that's what they do, if they're yeah, very good. Exactly. So uh, I had this idea that the real character are directing an actor and actor are asking questions. So uh, we are in the scene, you know, like a kind of Brechtian theater. We are in the scene and we go out from the scene. We think about the scene, about this memory, uh, ask a question. So it's a kind of uh, therapeutic lab. اللي فهمته من الفيلم اللي مش تكون يكون دوري كما دور الروس في فيلم تيتانيك هي مش تحكي في حكاية فاتت فهموا ممثلين أخرين اللي هم مش يمثلوا للواقع اللي نفع القصة هذيك ما تقيني روس <تصفيق> الفا عندها أربع بنات جوز الصغار آية وتيسير مزالوا عايشين معاها والجوز الكبار رحمة وغفران كلهم الذيب Was it sort of also therapeutic for you yourself? Exactly. It was a therapy not only for Olfa and her daughter, it was a therapy for all the crew. I had a very feminine crew and I wanted that we shoot in uh, only one set, you know, this hotel, because I know that intimate stories need protection, you know. We don't need uh, outside gaze and, uh, uh, and it was really amazing because we are, we were women, you know, behind the camera and the front of the camera, uh, talking about our stories, uh, our mothers, uh, our education, our, uh, you know, uh, puberty, all those uh, questions that, that are arised in the movie. You know, I, I cut all the elements that make the process heavy. Like, you know, a lot of light, for example, a lot of uh, uh, set design, a lot of... Uh, uh, even in the crew, I told them, don't bring your assistant, you know. Small as possible. S small, small. We, we need only the minimum. It was very min minimalistic uh, shooting because I know it's uh, shooting about introspection. It's not about uh, being authentic in the set, you know. I, I don't mind if uh, uh, the jail, we see that it's a set, you know, because it's not interesting. It's not about that, no. Yeah, exactly. And, and talking about introspection, in the end, uh, the daughters for sure, they uh, think were helped a lot by this film, but uh, did Alfa also introspect? The movie gave them the possibility to become closer and Alfa to question her uh, childhood trauma and the way she's treating her daughter. It's a kind of... Uh, um, uh, uh, conclusion that she understood during the shooting. It wasn't something that she uh, thought about before. But you understood it even before the shooting because you decided that there would be an actress 
uh, sort of backup actors to play Olfa. How did you know? Because it's obvious, you know, when you know what she uh, went through and when you know the person, you know that she will cry all, all the time. It's very traumatic and it's very uh, violent. So I knew from the beginning that uh, an actress will bring some distance, you know, will make this things more rational. Olfa is, uh, uh, you know, like a volcano of uh, emotion, <laughs> up and down. So to regulate this uh, volcano, I needed a very smart uh, actress to look to things, to make things more rational. Will Tunisia like the film as well, do you think? Will it be controversial, maybe? I think that the movie will have great success in Tunisia because it's something that uh, very close to Tunisian. Uh, the, the past 10 years, you know, after the revolution, it's an intimate story. Uh, and the, uh, the movie, you know, being here in Cannes, representing Tunisia in the main competition, uh, everybody's talking about this in Tunisia, so I think it will be a great moment, the premiere in Tunisia. But it won't be controversial. I mean, nowadays everything is controversial because of social media. At, at least one, if one doesn't like it, it's controversial. Yeah, That's exactly. That's a good, very good point. In the end, what do you want us to take away, the viewer to take away from this film? There are many cliché, I'm talking about, for example, for a Western audience, many cliché about Muslim Arab women, you, you know. So I have those cliché in the movie, but I wanted to dig behind the cliché to show that things are not that simple. I want people to, to understand, to try to be empathic. Because I think cinema is for this, for empathy. Mm -hmm.